Stand. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. And welcome to, this Eucharist, welcome to the funeral service of our sister, Elroy Thomas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our God, Father, and of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all mercies, and God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions, and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble. With the same consolation we have received from Him. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed, Blessed be God, God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bless the body with the holy water that recalls at baptism of which St. Paul writes, all of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life, for if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection.
On the day of his baptism, Elroy Thomas put on Christ. In the day of his Christ's coming, may ye be clothed with glory. Our entrance hymn, All I Ask of You. All I ask of you is forever to remember me as loving you. Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Would the two readers please come forward? The two readers. from Book of Wisdom, chapter 3, verses 1 to 9. The souls of the victorious are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation. But they are in peace. If they experience punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Sl slight was their affiliation, great with their blessings be. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those who has chosen. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial son, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down. 
second reading taken from Revelation chapter 20 reading from verses 11 on to verse 21 I John saw a great white throne and the one who was sitting on it in his presence the earth and skies vanished leaving no trace I saw the dead both great and small standing in front of his throne while the book of life was opened and the other books opens opened which were the record of what they have done in their lives by which the dead were judged the sea gave up all the dead who were in it death and hades were emptied of the dead that were within them and everyone was judged according to the way in which he lived his life then death and hades were thrown into the burning lake this burning lake is the second death, and anybody whose name did not, anybody whose name could not be found written in the book of life was thrown into the burning lake. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared, had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand for the acclamation of gospel proclaiming. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is 
my father's will says the Lord that whoever believes in his son shall have eternal life and I shall raise him upon the last day glory and praise to you Lord Jesus Christ the Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John glory be to you o Lord chapter 14 verses 1 to 6 Jesus said to his disciples do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to you and take you with me so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way, the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, first of all, on behalf of our parish community, I want to extend a heartfelt condolences to all the family members of our sister Alroy Thomas, especially to our children, beloved children she left behind. My dear brothers and sisters, those who are other religion people, they think death is a mystery from where it is coming, why it is coming, how it is coming, these are all a question for them. But for a Catholic, my dear brothers and sisters, death has to come in order to see the Lord. If only we face the death, the door is open to enter into heaven to see the Lord face to face. And so, there must be a second life after death, the, def the definitive one, the one that really counts since it lasts forever. And we also believe that in the last day, our bodies will be brought back to life. And so, if only we die, if only we are buried, then we will rise up on the last day. But my dear brothers and sisters, death is not God's doing. Sin brought into the world that death. The book of wisdom says, the book of wisdom chapter 2 verses 23 to 24 says, God created human beings to be immortal in the beginning. They were all like angels, they were all like him. And we read, God created man in his own image. We were all like him, angels. But how come man faced the death? It is because the envy of devil. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, that's the reason why St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, chapter 5, verse 12, he says, It was through one man that sin came into this world, but that sin was washed away by one man, that is Jesus. Therefore, Jesus' sin brought man twofold death. The first one is spiritual death that separated man from God. The second death that sin brought was physical death, where the separation of soul from body. 
And so, but my dear brothers and sisters, God destroyed sin and death through his son Jesus. He conquered death and he rose again on the third day. St. Paul in his letter to the Philippines, he says, chapter 3 verse 21, he says, Christ will transform our wretched bodies and make them like his own body. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, as we have brought our sister here to pay lost respect, we especially pray for our soul today that God may forgive whatever sins that she committed while she lived on this earth. And we also pray for all those who dear and near ones who mourn because of her death. It is not easy, my dear brothers and sisters, how much we console them, how much we tell them, don't worry, death will come and go. But still, my dear brothers and sisters, it is not easy to accept a mother who has gone away from them. And so we especially pray for the soul of our sister, Alroy Thomas, that God may give her eternal rest all the time. And also we pray for our children and our family members, our friends, that God may console every one of them. Amen. Please stand. The people assigned to, the, to do the prayer of the faithful, please come to my left. The prayer of the faithful, please come to me. Your response, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Everybody. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voice of those who trust in the Lord Jesus. We join our prayers to his. We pray for those in advance years that they may accept a long life with grace and courage and that society may grant to the elderly a special place and reverence. Lord, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayers. We pray for those who minister to the sick and dying that they may cure with gentle hearts and hands and by examples for all of us of Jesus, of God's undying love. Lord, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for who lives us in death that God the Father will lead him or her safely home and share with her the joys of kingdom, light, happiness, and peace. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all who mourn, that they may be assured of Christ's closeness to them in their sorrow and find strength and comfort for their faith in the eternal life granted to us in Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen Savior. Lord, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray against crime and violence. Father, we ask that you protect us from the evils of crime and violence. Comfort, heal and bless all victims of crime. Be near to all who have been affected by the violence, those who have been hurt, lost their loved ones, who have lost their sense of insecurity. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. 
Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a pledge of life eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A special collection will be taken for the maintenance of the church. And during this time we'll sing just a closer walk with the... signing of the register and the four people assigned to do so please come to my right the four people assigned to sign the register please come to my right and during that time we will sing sing out my soul Yeah. Uh -huh. 
please stand. Now let us pray to the Father the same word Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for our sister. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Elroy Thomas again and enjoy a friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. What a friend we have in Jesus. will be receive her soul and present her to the God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid, hasten to meet her again, angels of the Lord. Receive, receive her soul and present her to the God, God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive, receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Now I request all the family members to come around the coffin, please.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Elroy Thomas in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Elroy Thomas in this life. They are also to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Elroy Thomas, your servant. In the sight of this world, she is now dead, but in your sight, she lives forever. Forgive whatever sin she committed through human weakness, and in your goodness, grant her everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Elroy Thomas, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new internal Jerusalem. May choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham, where Lazarus is poor no longer. May you find eternal rest. Whoever believes in me, even though that person dies, shall live, because I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As we take our sister to her final resting place, remember to take all your personal belongings, your cell phone, your keys. We will now sing on eagle's wings. and sisters, our sister Elroy Thomas has gone to his gone to a rest in the peace of Christ.
May the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven with faith and hope in eternal life. Let us assist her with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord of, for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our sister. Together may we meet Jesus Christ when he who his life appears in glory. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the gates of graves all who believes in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies, grant that our sister may sleep here in peace until you awaken her to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will... Then, then she will see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon, upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. May our soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.